this is nothing to celebrate. So new patents for the Switch 2 have came out that show what the new dock is gonna look like. And I gotta tell you, I'm just nothing but straight disappointed. If you've seen this video I made about the Switch 2, rumored to be $400 whenever it comes out, um, I said that that's good news. People don't like the higher price, but to me that meant it's gonna have a better chip, it's gonna have just better technology, hopefully a better dock is something I really theorized on. And so here's my theory about the dock. Well, actually, first, let me just explain what this patent is for the new dock, okay? So basically, it solves a problem that I'm sure a big, good number of people had, but was never really like a widespread complaint, right? This is definitely something cool to have, though. So what it is, is inside the switch, and I'll try to remember to put pictures on the screen right now while I'm talking about it, is it's going to swivel around, I guess, so that the ports, you can move the ports to one side if you need them on this side, or to the other side if you need them on that side. And it uses like some cool spinny thing to make it happen. It's like, okay, yeah, that's cool and all. And I'm sure this solves a problem. And I'm sure maybe it'll be satisfying to like move it around and whatever. Like, don't get me wrong. This is cool. This is good to see that they're trying to solve people's problems. But here's my issue with it. Look at the pictures. Do you notice something? Aside from that, the dock looks exactly the same. Now, that doesn't mean it's not different. All right, I'll admit it. That doesn't mean it's not different. But what are some cool ideas I had that would have just easily made the dock that much better. Okay, so when you dock your switch, what do you get? You get more performance because it's being more power, it's being powered better and stuff like that. I'm not quite sure why. I don't own a switch, so I don't know. But I do know you get better performance when it's docked. I'm almost 100% sure that's only due to the fact it's getting more power. Okay, cool. So, what was one simple solution I had? I had, okay. Wouldn't it be cool is if when you dock the switch, you had an option to turn the screen on. It's not covered. And if you want, you can just play it like it's, and have more performance that way. And just play it while it's plugged in. And get extra performance, like a performance boost. But you're still using your switch screen. That would be cool. Okay, let's add on to that. What else did I say? Let's make that an eGPU. So there's now, there could be like a dock and then a dock pro too. That would be cool too, right? So the dock pro would be like, it would have a little eGPU in it. And it doesn't even have to be that powerful. It can be like a 2070. It can be like equivalent to a 2070 or something. I don't know. I don't know GPUs that well, but I know that the 2070 is pretty old. And it's probably like equivalent to like a very low powered 3050 or something. I don't know. But it's not that expensive, right? It could be like a more expensive dock. You plug that in. You can still play with the screen down, but now you're getting extra frames, extra performance. And this new Switch better have a 1080p screen. They shouldn't revert to LCD, they should just keep it on OLED. And hopefully with that OLED, they can get some good HDR, like the Steam Deck, right? If they wanna compete with the Steam Deck, you're asking people like me who don't have one to buy your console and rebuy all the games I have. I'll have to rebuy the Switch version, and then I'll have to buy your, of course, Nintendo exclusives, but, you know. So, they gotta be at least somewhat competitive. I get that it's Nintendo, and they got their own thing going, but they still have to be, in my opinion, competitive with the Steam Deck, no matter what. So I feel like they need that OLED. They need that HDR capability because apparently the HDR on the OLED, or on the Steam Deck OLED is very good. And they need to be able to have a noticeable performance boost. Why not have that and compete with the PS5 and the newest Xbox series, whatever stupid names they have, right? So to me, this is just bad news. Like who cares? I see YouTubers hyping it up and it's cool. It's cool, but it's a nothing burger. This isn't something we should be hyped about. Um, not at all, man, not at all. I think pe Nintendo players, they love their little Nintendo thing they got going on, but I think they wanna be able to go and play games like Ar the Arkham series, which plays terrible on the Switch right now. I'm not saying that's anyone's fault. Their hardware just sucks and it's, it's a miracle they even got the game to play on a seven-year-old CPU. Like, that's crazy. So, um, or is it eight years old? Whatever. That's crazy. I don't think some people realize how amazing it is that they got it to even just be playable. Games like that. Um, but I think Nintendo people would love to be able to get the Switch and on the go play games like Call of Duty. Play games like the Arkham series. Um, Spider-Man, the ones that are now available on PC and stuff. It would be cool to play those on Switch. Um, Fortnite in, in an actual playable way. I know you can do Fortnite right now, but it's trash. It's horrible on the Switch right now. So I think it being competitive with at least the Steam Deck, and it should probably be 
as powerful as the ROG Ally or something like that, right? I don't expect it to because they don't want it to be that noisy and that be able to get that hot and stuff. So I get it, but it should definitely be better than a Steam Deck. It would be it would be great if it was better than an, or as good as an ROG Ally or something. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, please leave a like and comment. Please tell me what you think. I actually really want to know what people think if people stumble upon this video. Yeah, I mean, it's just a nothing burger for me at this point. Like, who cares, dude? It's cool. It's definitely cool. Like, it's not stupid or anything. But it's not exciting. It's, it's disappointing, if anything, because the dock looks exactly the same, which means they have not innovated as much. And it honestly starts to make me think the Switch 2 isn't even going to be a Switch 2. It's just going to be another update to the Switch, which would be very disappointing, just like the OLED was. So, yeah, let me know. What